What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, and today I'm coming to you with another Dragon Age Inquisition video. This is actually going to be a video of my second dragon kill uh, that I managed to get in the game. Uh, now we're in Crestwood is the area that we're running through, and this is going to be the Northern Hunter is the name of the dragon. So uh, there's a couple of things you have to do first to unlock uh, this fight. Basically when you come to Crestwood, it's going to be very dreary and dark and rainy and like it's nighttime. And there's going to be a rift uh, down below one of the lakes that you're going to have to close off first. It's the kind of the main story quest when you're in Crestwood. Now, you can actually encounter this dragon when she's asleep at the bottom of the hill. If you come over uh, to the castle, kind of off to the right over here, you'll be able to look down and see where she's sleeping when you first come into Crestwood. Um, but after you unlock, uh, actually, you drain the dam. You have to drain the dam, drain the lake to get to this rift that's underneath it. And when you come out of the uh, building from where you do that, you'll actually see her fly overhead. And then you won't be able to encounter her until later. Once you finish that quest, the sun will come out, all the clouds will go away uh, when you finish that main story quest in Crestwood. And then you will be able to see her sitting atop this uh, castle that you came by earlier, the one that she was sleeping by. She's now going to be standing up on one of the towers um, south of the Three Trout Farm, I believe, uh, you to go to that camp and then come down. Now, this dragon was a little baffling at first. It was really interesting because... Uh, she's mostly a melee dragon. She does not have a lot of ranged attacks from what I've seen. I probably wiped on her three times. You're seeing uh, this here is going to be the successful attempt, but I tried it with, um, of course, I'm playing a rogue archer, and I tried it with a tank and two mages, and that went terribly wrong. I tried it with uh, two tanks and one mage. That didn't work out so well. Uh, it just was really interesting because um, she's a melee dragon. You'll see here she's basically just using short range attacks up close, and... I don't know, for some odd reason, I was trying to use the tactical camera, and this is one of my big gripes with Dragon Age Inquisition. It just seems like your AI companions are just stupid. And I would keep telling my mages to stay at range, and they would keep running up into melee range, and she would basically just one-shot them every time. So I literally was down two companions, like, not even five seconds into the fight, and it was really, really annoying. And so I went through a lot of trials and tribulations. Finally, one fight I was in, everybody got killed. <laughs> by this lightning attack, and so the only guy who was still standing was Blackwall, and I had him about half health, so I just switched over to Blackwall, and I was kind of frustrated, so I was just, I said, I'm just gonna, you know, go up to the dragon and just hack and slash with Blackwall, and I literally got her down to, like, one-tenth of her health just using Blackwall by himself. Uh, he's a ridiculous tank, and so I was basically just tanking the dragon um, with just him by himself, and I almost killed her in that fight, so when I tried it after that, I said, you know what, if Blackwall can do such a good job, I'm just gonna use all tanks and use my archer for range, so I have Cassandra, Iron Bull, and Blackwall here, and I basically just um, sent them all at the dragon, and they're all surrounding her and just, you know, hacking away. And she does get a couple kills here and there with uh, with her lightning breath, but for the most part, they stay up in melee range and just tank her with guard, and really this fight was really super easy. I was really surprised at how easy this fight went after I switched to just using three tanks and my rogue. Um, I think I beat her in less than five minutes. You can see we've already got her at half health, and we're only about two and a half minutes into the fight, so uh, really was not that impressed with this dragon fight. The first one against the um, Feraldin and Frostback was a lot more uh, exciting, a little bit more dynamic, and just a little bit felt a lot better after I beat her. It was a little bit more uh, more challenging. This one's kind of easy. Like I said, you're gonna just uh, I just sent all my tanks into melee and you know with guard most of the fight, and a couple times they do die, but for the most part. It's no big deal, and then I just kind of hang out towards the edge uh, and just keep shooting her with arrows over and over and over again. <laughs> so uh, this fight was really not that uh, not that difficult, at least for me. And I think I was about level, I want to say level 13 or 14 when I fought her. And uh, from what I've read, this is like the easiest dragon fight in the game. And I could see why, because once you figure out you know how to do it, um, it's pretty easy. But like I said, I was not having any luck with my ranged characters. It seemed like no matter what I would do, they would not listen to the commands in the tactical view. They would just keep running in and um, and dying in melee range whenever she used her lightning attacks. Uh, so that was pretty aggravating. But uh, like I said, fairly easy once I figured this out. I think this was my fourth and final attempt. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to use all the tanks and we're just going to see what we can do, but uh, she doesn't really have a whole lot of attacks that you have to worry about, especially from range. It's not like the Feraldin and Frostback where she's throwing fireballs at you every three seconds. Uh, this one just kind of hops around unless you shoot her legs, and uh, that's pretty much it. So pretty good fight here, and we got some pretty good loot at the end, so that's going to pretty much do it for this video, guys. I'm going to probably bring a couple more dragon videos. I've found three, so this is the second one I found. I found a third one um, in the 
Emerald Graves, I believe it was. I find that one, and also I found one in oh, I can't uh, one of the other maps. It's, name's escaping me right now, but I'll be bringing you a few more of these as I go for the. Uh, there's an achievement where you have to kill all ten of the high dragons in the game, so be uh, be working on that and probably bringing a video for each one once I finally figure out how to defeat them. So, anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Dragon Age Inquisition video, and I will see you again next time.